All right, so the next thing you guys will see in this process is right beneath where your battery and your connector and all of this stuff is, you're gonna have this little puppy. This is a RF shield, all right, your radio frequency shielding. And it serves a couple of purposes. It serves, uh, it's, it's kind, of a, um, uh, kind of a heat detractor, so it's kind of a, what do you call those things? A um, heat sink, so to speak. So it helps with heat a little bit. And it also protects your uh, components under here. So it's RF shielding. So in order to, to get to what we need to do, we have to remove this RF shielding. So as you guys can see, this RF shielding is gonna be right here. So in order to get to that fuse that I've been telling you guys about, you have to remove this RF shielding. If you don't remove this RF shielding, you're not gonna get to the fuse, all right? And to remove the RF shielding, it's not a big deal. You can actually take something like your tweezers, and if you look right on the corner of these, or right on the side of this RF shielding, right here, you guys can see it has little legs, little clips, and you can literally take, um, you can literally take something like your tweezers and just go very carefully because what you don't want to do is you don't want to get so far under here where you're running the risk of pushing your tweezers through and knocking something off the board. So you got to very carefully just get under each leg, pop it up. I would start one side. Once I was able to get something like some little plastic underneath, I'll put plastic underneath, right? And then put a little pressure pushing up. And then as I'm pushing up, just continue to pop with my tweezers, pop, pop, pop. It's very simple, very easy. Again, it's just clips. You're going to take those clips right off. All right. And you guys can see those clips all the way around. Uh, I suggest not, I mean, you can try to put this back on after you're done. It's totally up to you. Um, another thing you can do is you can put tape, uh, a little heat tape, a little captain's tape over this whole area. If you want to protect it too, I would at least at a minimum put, uh, uh, captain's tape over everything just to make sure that when I'm done, just to make sure that there's uh, insulation, nothing touches it, nothing gets shorted out and you know, putting this back on, eh, I it just, it, it, it's kind of iffy because you run the risk of shorting something out if you touch in the wrong place, right? So I just, from a safety perspective, I'd rather do use the tape, the captain's tape, as opposed to putting this back on, all right? So the next step in our process is we're gonna identify exactly where this uh, chip is, all right? This chip that we've been talking about, our fuse. Uh, some people refer to it as a chip, some people refer to it as a fuse. It is technically a fuse, to be politically correct. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit so I can show you guys exactly where this fuse is. So if you look right here at the very top, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take your wire cutters and your wire cutters look just like this. These are your wire cutters. Because what you're gonna see now is you're gonna see this frame. So now that you have the RF shielding off, what you guys are gonna see now is this frame that is around this entire section with all of these chips. And this frame was basically to hold on this RF shielding, but this frame is still kind of in our way in order to do work where we need to do it. So what you want to do is you want to take your uh, wire cutters, okay? And you don't need to remove the entire frame. You just need to remove the part of the frame that's covering the chip or the fuse that we need to get to. So that fuse is going to be right here at the top, guys. So right here is where your LCD and your digitizers connect it. Your fuse is going to be right here. And if you look under your microscope, which I always advise you guys to do, as you can see, as we show you guys the, the footage of, the, uh, of the, the view under the microscope, what you're going to see is that fuse. You're going to see that fuse. It should be blue. It's hard to see with the naked eye, but if you look really closely, most times it's blue. And it's right in between. You can see where I'm pointing at. It is that fuse, okay? And it's going to be right here, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your clippers or your uh, wire cutters and you're going to cut this frame. Now, as you can see, this one's already cut, but really all you got to do is just grab that frame, right? And you just cut this side and you cut this side. Now, again, you want to be very careful because you don't want to uh, ESD, right? You don't want any static going into your chip. So you want to make sure, or your, uh, your components. So you want to make sure that you're cutting away. What I like to do is I'll cut and kind of bend. I'll cut and bend away, cut, bend away until I get that whole piece out of the way. And again, I'll zoom in so you guys can get a, a really close look at the cut, okay? So if you look right here, you guys can actually see exactly where this particular piece is cut. All right, so right here is where we cut the frame to get everything out of the way so we can actually do work on this particular chip right here in the middle. It's that chip right there in the middle. All right, that's the chip we're going to be working on.
all right, or the, the fuse we're gonna be working on, okay?